up everybody and hello my name is Kenny Nguyen. I am your newest video ambassador for Vietnam. Where am I at right now? Currently I'm in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam and I work for a private school here in the Phu Minh Hung District. Now Phu Minh Hung District is about 30 minutes from the center of town and I currently teach English to Korean children and adults. I have a 9 a.m. class in about a few minutes, so I'm gonna start to, um, you know, just pre finish preparing my lessons for it. Well, so I'll be here from 9 a.m. all the way to 10 p.m. A long day, but you know, uh, let's see what this day holds. I'll try to do my best to get in some interviews with the faculty and students. So. Yeah, I'm pretty excited, aren't you? All right, so I'm out of breath. I just ran out real quick to get a cup of Vietnamese coffee, and now I am wired. My students will be coming in here in about like five minutes. I have my PPP lesson plan right over here. I'll be teaching them the present perfect and the past simple. And the hard part is, is teaching them the difference between the two and how to use it together in, uh, in English. So uh, I have some activities for them. I have a worksheet for them to fill out. And uh, yeah, this is an adult conversation class. It lasts about an hour and 30 minutes. finished and everybody is on their way home. Uh, a few minutes ago what you saw was the production stage of the PPP lesson plan. So the next class is an intermediate class and they will come at 11.15. So now I have a little bit of break time. Uh, I'm just gonna grade some homework, get that out of the way. About the school, I started working here since July and I've been having the time of my life here. Uh, what I like about this school is the class size is so small. It ranges from three to seven students at most. And you know, that gives me an opportunity to cater to what the students need and um, just to personalize everything. Uh, I love the interaction with my students, um, getting to know them in a more personal level. Um, and that's like the main reason why I chose a small school. I got a job offer from ILA, ILA and it is a big private English school uh, for young kids and class sizes are about 15 to 20. And so, um, you know, I really wanted a chance to get to know my students on a more deeper level and this was a great opportunity for me. Landmark 81, that is the tallest tower in Vietnam. I did a video, a YouTube video about it a few months ago, so you should definitely check it out. We are 30 minutes away from class. I've stepped downstairs and now I am lesson planning for a few minutes. 
I'm just going over model verbs with my intermediate class. I'm on a three hour break before my next class at night. Um, I'm having a bowl of authentic Vietnamese pho right now, and um, the cost in Vietnam is relatively low. This bowl only cost me three US dollars. Now, in other areas of Ho Chi Minh City, it's going to be much more cheaper. This is Phu Mi Hung. This is kind of like the um, little Korea of Ho Chi Minh City. And there are a lot of foreigners that live here, so prices are relatively pretty high. But back where I live, District 6, I live with my family and a bowl of pho would only cost me about a dollar and thirty cents. So, um, you never, in my opinion, you can never break the bank here in Vietnam if you spend your money wisely. English. Um, right here is my workstation. This is where all the teachers meet and hang out and just lesson plan. Uh, over here we have books. Now the school we teach everything from like IELTS to conversational English to math to science and American and British literature. Uh, let's take a look at some of these books. Um, IELTS. I-E-L-T-S. Do you guys know what that is? If you don't know, IELTS is the assessment test for many high school students who are about to go to university. Uh, the minimum score to get into most universities is 5.5 and the highest score you can get out of the test is 9. You know, uh, we teach this and this is our main priority just so that we can get these students into a higher level education and into the university of their dreams. And every week we also have like a shared reading class for the mothers and the high schoolers. You guys know we also have a school bus which is arriving right about now. Yeah, we're gonna go check out a classroom right now. Uh, the teacher is named Helen and she is from the UK. She's currently teaching grammar to the younger uh, elementary school students, so let's take a look. Oh, hello guys. After class. I'm seven years old. Good. Where are you from? I'm from Korea. Korea. Uh, how long have you been living in Vietnam? Um, for seven months. Awesome. Mm, thank you. <laughs> I love doing YouTube when I'm when I have free time. What do you want? You're gonna break my wallet, Sungbin. <laughs> So what I like about teaching at this school is that you can take kids to the convenience store and it's all right with the parents and uh, you know the director of the school. So it gives me a good chance to really get to know the students outside of school. What's up? You sure you want water? Soda? No soda? You are healthy. You are healthy. To buy two things at the grocery store or at Circle K or Mini Stop and you bought how many? Six. You just made Mr. Kenny poor. So some of the day, that was a day in the life of uh, me teaching English at my school. Uh, like I said before, I've been here for about five months, and I've been working here for only about four months, if I can remember correctly. And right now, I'm currently working here 27 hours a week. So, um, and I'm also getting paid 20 US dollars per hour. And, you know, I, have so much student loans. I owe it around 30,000 US dollars. And a year ago in the States, I was actually struggling and I was barely making the minimum payment, believe it or not. But ever since I came to Vietnam, I have been shelling away so much money. And this past week, I've actually paid about 6,000 
US dollars um, to my student loans. So um, at this rate, if I keep going and if I keep saving money, I will be debt free within two years versus 15 years back home in America. But uh, yeah, it's a part of it's not really about the money. The other part of it is making up for lost times with my family here. I actually live in District 6 in Ho Chi Minh City. So here, living in Vietnam, it's given me a chance to make up for lost times with my family here. I live with my family in District 6 and it's a family I don't really know much about. So uh, it's exciting to get to learn about my culture, the history, and you know, making it up for lost times with the family members that I never really spent time with. Uh, and all in all, I get to send home money to pay my student loan. So uh, everything is working out perfect in Vietnam. I couldn't be happier. To say. Um, that was a day in my life here at Bridgeway Academy in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you back here on another ITA uh, video. Alright, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.